Hey guys, welcome back to the This Is Soul Skate Shop YouTube channel. Today we're going to investigate all the reasons why to pick one knee pad or another. There are basically two types of knee pads. Ones with a plastic cap and the ones without a plastic cap. These are worn underneath your pants. The ones with a plastic cap are worn over your pants. These are actually made to slide over the concrete with. They're especially for vert skaters, which is a really specialized field of aggressive inline skating, or general recreational skaters. So if you're a beginner skater and you don't really know what kind of knee pads to buy, chances are pretty high that you need one that's very similar to this one. Knee pads with a plastic cap come in all sorts and shapes, and there are good ones and ones you should definitely avoid. If you see a knee pad that that's, has the plastic cap in a pointy shape like this, then you should not buy it. Throw these away if you find one. They're horrible. If you land on it, they either go like this or they go like that. And you want your knee pad to stay in place. A second thing to pay attention to is that the sleeve in the back is proper and this one doesn't do that much a proper sleeve is something something like this this is a nice sleeve and it keeps your knee pad in place both of these are pretty cheap they cost maybe 10 or 15 euros but there's such a difference in, in quality so pay good attention to these two aspects the more expensive a knee pad is the better it stays in its place so this one is maybe a bit thin and it stays in place fairly good, but definitely not as good as one like this. This one is nice and thick and it really stays on your knee really good. This is what a lot of people do wrong. When they put on their knee pad, they start with the top one, but actually the bottom one is the most important one. The knee pad should lock over your calf, just above your calf, and the top strap is actually not that important. It, that's okay if there's a little bit of room here, but it's not okay if there's room here. These two knee pads look very, very similar that I'm wearing right now. This one is 30 euros, and this one is 100 euros. And you can really feel the difference. Even though they look similar, once I put them on, I can feel that this one stays in, in its place a lot better. 1st the bottom one, then the top one, and then, ja, eigenlijk kan je het niet zo goed zien, maar ik voel het wel. I can feel that this one is locked in with my leg a lot better than this one. It feels more tight and I feel more one with the knee pad. For anybody who wants to slide on their knees, the tighter protection is, the better. And this one also feels a little bit more padded. Uh, price quality wise, this is definitely the winner though, because it's only 30 euros. So, and it protects really well. Uh, sliding on the knees goes like this. And the nice thing about it is that when you fall on your knees, you don't fall on your wrists. A lot of people come here and when they buy protection, they say like, oh, I only want protection for my hands because I work with my hands and I want to protect my hands. But realize that if you wear really good knee pads, then you don't fall on your hands. You, you tend to fall more likely that you fall on your knees. All right. I am not a beginner skater and I'm also not a vert skater. So I don't use pads with the plastic cap like this. My knee pads are these. And I've had these for maybe over 15 years already. I really like them. It's the brand Alcatraz and we still sell these today, thankfully. Wear them underneath your pants, so you have to wear kind of like baggy jeans with them. The nice thing is that these are more for people that have like a more dynamic fall. So the ones with the pad are for straightforward falls on the knees. And these are more like maybe if you miss a grind that you then fall on the side of your knee more or just like random stuff occurs. So if you're aggressive skating or you're doing tricks or if you're trying stuff, usually actually you're falling more on the side of your knee, especially this little bone here. I call it my topsole bone 
because I always fall on it when I'm when I'm missing my topsoils, and I can fall on it maybe like one or twice a day, but then then the third time the, the session is over for me. I can, I cannot take it anymore. So I can I can skate for like one or one and a half hours fine without knee pads. If I'm going super far to a skate park and I'm, I'm skating like five hours in a day and I definitely know that I'm going to fall a couple of times, I am going to wear my knee pads. And the most important part of these knee pads for me is actually not the center part, but is, is the part on the side here. So if you're looking for a knee pad, uh, and you don't want to look at all the options, trust me, take the Alcatraz one. Uh, and otherwise, at least take into account that you're, that you're probably not going to fall straight forward here, but going to fall on the side. So knee pads that also have that thing on the side is this rollerblade knee pad here. You can see it. I'm going to show you. Look, it also has it on the side. And rollerblade is an inline skating brand. Alcatraz is also an inline skating brand. And Anui is more like a brand that's for all sports. Triple uh, Eight and G Form as well, they're more broad. And they don't have inline skating as a specific sport in mind as good as Alcatraz and Rollerblade do. Definitely pays off to go for inline skating specific brands regarding uh, sleeve knee gaskets without a plastic cap if you're doing aggressive inline skating. So this is everything there is to know about knee pads. The best thing is to come by our store here in the center of Amsterdam and to try on the knee pads yourself so that you know that you have the right size. If you order online, most knee pads have size specific information in the description. So you can kind of struggle with that and find your, find your right size through the description on the website. Do you wear knee pads yourself? And what kind of knee pads do you wear? Let me know so that I can learn what kind of knee pads are around. And if you're missing any knee pads on our wall, please let me know. I think we're pretty complete, don't you think? <laughs> Drop your answer in the comments. If you wanna learn more about falling techniques, we made an entire video about how to fall. Press the like button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Wow. It's something falling out okay. there. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. And this one has a really weird band, bond, sleeve, sleeve. sleeve.